Hello everyone. In this video, I will cover the assignment operators in R. By the end of this lesson, you will learn how to use the assignment operators to assign values to variables or what we call objects in R. You will also learn how to annotate your code. There are two assignment operators in R. They are the less than and hyphen symbols put together. And we also have the equal sign. These are the two symbols we use for assigning values to variables in R. It is also important to note that comments in R are created using the hash symbol. Anything following this symbol on the same line is treated as a comment and is ignored by the R interpreter, even if it is executed. Let us go right into R and demonstrate these assignment operators and how to write comments. Now that you have opened the R Studio environment, it is imperative that you adopt the habit of writing codes in the script window or in a script file. So simply go to the top left corner and click on the plus button and select R script to open a new R script file. And in there, you can write your code. So let us go ahead and do the assignment using the assignment operators. So for example, if you want to assign the value 100 to a variable X, you can simply write x less than hyphen 100. Now, if you realize that the font size is too small for your liking, you can go to the many options, click on view, and then click on zoom in to make it as much bigger according to your preference. So I will press enter to go to the next line and assign, for example, the value 45 to y. And I can do the same thing using the equal sign operator. And so if I place my cursor on the first line and click on run, the code gets executed. It gets pasted into the console for execution and it is displayed in the environment, both the variable and the value that was assigned. The cursor moves to the second line. You can go ahead and click on run to execute the second line and the 45 is also assigned to Y. You should adopt the habit of putting single Y space between objects. So I will go to the space between the variable X and the assignment operator and put a single Y space. I will do the same thing between the assignment operator and the value that you assigned. I will do the same thing for the second line. This allows for code readability. It makes it very easy for anybody to read your code. It is not a good practice to pack all of them together without a single Y spacing. Now to write a comment, you would have to use the hash symbol. So let us go to the first line and type a comment. Now let's write a comment that is meaningful. So I'll go ahead and say, assign the value 100 to X. And then before the second assignment, I will also write a comment, assign the value 45 to Y. Since this is a comment, even if you execute, R will simply ignore it. So for example, if I highlight this entire code and click on run, that gets executed in the console, but is simply ignored by R. What happens if you remove the hash symbol? Then by executing this line, R throws an error because it doesn't recognize the syntax in its programming language. So if you want to annotate your code, the best practice is to simply write a comment. You can also write multi-line comments such as, let us use the two assignment operators. assign 67 to A. So A less than hyphen 67. Assign 78 to B. B equal sign 78. So you can write multi-line comments by continuously using the hash symbol preceded by the text or the comment. 
So what are the uses of comments? Comments allow for code readability. It makes it very easy for anybody to understand your code. You can also use it to temporarily disable code during testing. For example, if you intended not to run this particular code, all you have to do is place the hash symbol before it, and it is simply a comment. So if you go ahead and click on run, that gets executed in the console, but it's ignored by the R interpreter because R recognizes that that is a comment. So you can see that this assignment is not made and it's not shown in the environment window. At this point, you should also go ahead and save your R script for future reference. Or you could also send this same script to somebody else who can then see all the codes that you have written within the script file. You can save it by clicking on this save icon and then saving it to a particular location on your computer. In this case, I would do so for my desktop and I will call it assignment and simply click on save. So I will find this particular file at the very location where I saved it, in this case, on the desktop. However, you will find it at the very location where you saved your script file. 